My name is Dr. Winnie Upper, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Is it Gillian Sanders? It is, yes. Nice to meet you, Gillian. How can I help you today? Well, I've come in really because I'm a bit a bit concerned because I've been getting um I've been getting some headaches and um I was just a bit worried about them. How long have you been getting your headaches for? Roughly, I would say about three weeks. And before that, did you have any headaches? No. Okay. Can you describe your headache to me? Well they start and I feel it, it's round the sides and just at the front and it's almost as though you know when you just feel like some hands are squeezing okay that, that's how it feels okay does it go anywhere like around the back or into your neck no okay are they lasting the whole day or a few hours no i'd say they probably last about two to three hours and do you have them more than once in a day no no it's usually just once a day does it happen any particular time in the day uh, usually afternoons. I don't. I don't wake up with it. It's usually um, sort of after lunch time. So yeah, afternoons. Okay. And you mentioned you don't wake up with them, but do they wake you up at night time? No. No. Do you have any other symptoms with your headache? Like what? Sir? Like, do you feel sick or have you vomited at all? No. Any problems seeing with your headache? No, no. Any problems with loud sounds with your headache? No. And how about bright lights? Do they affect you in any way? No, they don't seem to. No. Have you had any weakness in your arms or legs or numbness in your arms or legs? No. Okay. Um, and you, you mentioned right at the beginning that you were worried about your headaches. Mm -hmm. what, what were you worried about? Well, because I've been having them for a while, I was listening to the radio the other day and they were doing one of those, you know, those programs where people phone in and tell their problems. Yeah. And there was a man that uh, phoned up saying that he'd been getting these these headaches for a few weeks. Um, well, it's probably been a few months, and it ended up being a brain tumor. Okay. And apart from the brain tumor, was there anything else that you were worried about? No, no. Okay. I, I just didn't know. I didn't know what could be done, whether, you know, with blood tests, whether a scan, or I, okay. <laughs> I think I'm just panicking. Okay. So you've had a. Th think about it and you mentioned yeah. blood tests and scans was there anything else that you thought I might do today no I, I did go to the opticians okay and um, because I know that sometimes it can be a vision so I, I wear contacts you see and I, I wear glasses as well so I didn't know whether my prescription had changed but uh, when they checked me they said there was nothing nothing wrong with my eyes okay great so um, have you noticed any um, problems with your weight no any no weight loss and your appetite is that okay yeah no yeah. fine now looking at the medical records we can see here that you usually fit and well we've got no medical problems rec recorded no. for you are you taking any medication for your headaches at the moment um i I've, I've been taking paracetamol but i don't know whether they're not strong enough or what but i, I take sort of um, them three times a day okay uh, well up to three times a day and they're not touching them and have you done that every day for the last three weeks once you've had your headache yeah. Okay. Are you allergic to anything? Not, not that I know of. Okay. And do you take anything over the counter? No. No. Is there any family history of any problems like brain tumours or, or any problems you think may be significant? Not that I can think of, no. Okay. Um, just about you in general now, um, work-wise, are you working? Yes, yes, I'm a social worker. Okay, and, and how is that? Is that? Do you enjoy that job? <laughs> well, I did um, until there was about two months ago, and there was a lot of redundancies. Right. Um, thankfully, I wasn't affected by that, but because of that, my workload's got a lot, lot bigger, really. So okay. I've got a lot of extra work. Is that stressful? It can well, yes, it is because I had enough work as it was. Yeah. Um, but now that I've had all this new work come on as well, I do find that. It is quite stressful from the second I get to work till the end of the day. And I, I do find that I'm thinking about it when I get home as well. So it sounds like it's hard for you to switch off. Oh, from definitely. That definitely. It's, well, it's quite home. a hard job anyway, being a social worker. But imagine. with the extra workload, it's... Okay. Um, sometimes when people are very stressed, it can affect their mood. Has it affected your mood in any way, feeling low at all? Not that I can think of. I still like to... Well, I'm still doing everything that I was before, so I'm still going out with, with everybody. And yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you smoke at all? No. Gillian. And any alcohol on a, on a weekly basis? No. Who lives with you at home? I, I live on my own. Okay. 
Right then, so what I'd like to do next is to examine you, if mm -hmm. that's okay. So I'd like to check your blood pressure first. I'd like to have a look at the back of your eyes and then just check the nerves in your face and your arms and legs, if that's okay. No, that's perfect, thank okay. you. So the good news is that all your examination findings were fine. They're all perfect, which is really good news. Okay. Oh, good. <laughs> Do you That's feel a bit relieved? Like to, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. So, um, from the description of your headaches, it it fits with something called a tension headache. Have you heard of that before? No, I haven't. Okay. Now, tension headaches is when you've got tightening of some of the muscles around your head and, and sometimes into your neck and, and um, your shoulder regions. Mm -hmm. And when they tense up, it can cause this squeezing-like sensation that you've described yeah. and cause the headaches that you, you are describing. Now, you mentioned specifically about brain tumours. Um, something had, had worried you mm -hmm. um, and you, you'd thought about brain tumours, but they are very, very rare. And your symptoms don't tend to to fit with, with a brain tumour. Um, so, so you don't think I need sort of a scan or anything like that? At this point in time, no. There's nothing there from examining you and talking to you that uh, makes me think that you need a scan. But I think we do need to address some of the things that may be causing your tension headaches, yeah. if, if that's OK. Yeah, that's fine. Does that mean medication or just...? Sure. Well, um, there's lots of ways we can manage it. But from talking to you, it sounds like your work seems to be quite stressful at it the is. moment and um, we find a lot of people with tension type headaches there's a stress trigger and I, I wonder if it's work that's causing it what do you think it could be it could be how how would I get around that because I can't it's really difficult because the workload is so much I can't give it to anybody else or sure well there are relaxation techniques that I can give you so some self-help and yeah. um, we can have a chat about tablets um, Time off work may be an option if you think that that would help you. Mm -hmm. If I take the time off work, everyone else is going to have to pick up what I'm doing and I'm not sure if I'd feel more stressed thinking okay. about everyone else having to have okay. all the work. Well, we'll keep that on the back burner. Mm -hmm. um, we can have a chat about the other options. Yeah. Then. So firstly, relaxation techniques. I can give you some information about some techniques that you can do just to help relax yourself. And I can do that at home. You can yeah. do that at home. So that, that can be the, one of the first things. And medication. Now you mentioned paracetamol and you've been taking it quite regularly. It doesn't seem to be affecting. No. Sometimes with regular use of paracetamol, you can get a, a headache on top of your headache. So it may be worth actually just stopping that. Are you able to use ibuprofen? I think, okay. I've, I think I've used it before. Okay, it may be a, a worth just switching over to ibuprofen Is that instead. just a stronger paracetamol? Or? It's a different type of medication to paracetamol. So if you stop your paracetamol altogether and switch over to ibuprofen instead. Um, some of the side effects with ibuprofen are stomach upset. So just make sure you take it on a full stomach. And if you start getting any indigestion or stomach pains, you might need to stop that and let us know. So if it works, then fine. But I think realistically, if your stress carries on, you are at risk of, of carrying on having these headaches. So it may be worth if we give you the relaxation techniques and you make that switch over to a, to a different medication mm -hmm. and maybe getting you back to see me in a couple of weeks' time so you can tell me how you're getting on. Yeah. If, if uh, for example, um, it hasn't got better, what, what would happen then? If it hasn't got better, there are other medication that we can have a look at. So there are tablets that you can take on more of a daily basis to prevent your headaches coming on. Um, so that may be an option if your headaches are still persisting. Yeah, and, and yes, again, if, if, think, if that doesn't work, is that when you might look into other, other causes? Sure. So if, if after all of that things are persisting, or even if there is a, a change in your symptoms, it's, yeah. it's worth just coming to let us know so that we can just reassess things. In terms of the brain tumour, I, th I think you're probably still <laughs> thinking about that. Um, it's very, very, very rare. So I can give you some information, if you'd like, about tension headaches to take away and no, read about. And if you want some information about tumours, we can give that to you, but I, I don't think at the moment that's a good idea. It does is it seem a good, like it's more... good idea for me to look it up, or...? You can have a look on the NHS website or patient.co.uk is another good, good site. Um, sometimes when you just Google it, it can come up with the can most rare and, and scariest <laughs> things, absolutely. It may not be a good idea just to look at any random website, okay. but if you look at those two websites, and they'll have reliable information on there. No, that's lovely. And do I get the out? Can I just buy the out proof in front yeah, of the... if you just buy that over the counter, um, and then we'll book back for a couple of weeks to lovely. come back and see me. Yeah, no, that's lovely. Thank Do you, you have any questions? 
No, I don't think so. And then I just book, do I just go and book? Yep, so we can book that on your way out. I'll give you a slip to give to the receptionist to ask you to come back and see me in two weeks. But if you think things are changing before that, your headaches are getting more severe, just come back and we'll see you soon. Okay. That's lovely. Thank you very much. Okay, thank Thank you very much. Thank you.